What is going on guys, Jack here and I am back with episode 14 of the Portsmouth Road to Glory series. We are starting season 2 in League 1. Things are definitely looking up for Portsmouth after last episode. We did win the league. If you missed that, go check it out. It's a brilliant episode for you to get involved in. So make sure you do go view that one and give it a like. And also if you are new around here and you enjoy this series, smash a like too and subscribe if you are new around here. So this window, we're going to be looking to bring in some good quality players to help us obviously elevate ourselves into the championship. And sorry for no videos over the weekend, guys. I have been extremely busy. I just thought take a little break from the career mode and ultimate team side of things. So we've got two videos coming out today. This one being the first and the next one will be out later this evening. It is my top five underrated talents in the Premier League. So make sure you do go check that one out and leave a like and show support for that video too. So we do look to get Shaji Ojo from Liverpool. What we do quickly back out of that deal, seeing that his wage was around about 35 or 37 and a half grand, which is something I just cannot pay. I don't have the, the funds within the team to pay that. So we completely ignore that deal. And unfortunately, it looks like Liverpool man might be joining the club. But we do turn our attentions to getting the centre back into the team. Reese Burke, top in the list of West Ham United. 500 grand plus O'Brien. Should be enough to see him obviously um, get tempted to leave the club. Uh, Will Patchen, we go back in for him. Obviously, last season we were unsuccessful to bring him in due to funds. We do offer Danny Rose our captain plus 400,000 to City. Hopefully, they accept that deal. Also, for Reese Burke, we do have to up our bid by 150 grand more, 650, but I'm pretty confident we can get the deal done. But one stumbling block will probably be his 13 and a half grand wage. I just don't think we can pay it, pay it at the moment, so we'll see what happens with that. But as uh, for our second game in the International uh, European Cup, we do actually draw a 1 1. Uh, we do go into contract negotiations though with Reese Burke. We try and down his pay by three and a half grand a week. Um, we do offer him a 15% um, bonus per clean sheet though and a five year deal. See what he says to that. As for our next game, we do win 4 1. Smith, Naismith with a double, and Evans on the score sheet here. Um, again, it's been a very weird pre season for us here. We're just trying to get players in. We don't really. Uh, it, it, it's selfish for me to say, but I'm not interested in the pre season. I just want to get the team ready for the domestic uh, side of things. I'm not interested in pre-season. No, it's nice to get extra funds, but let the team do the talking. I'm going to be doing all the work in the back room trying to get this uh, the deals done. Reese Burke, again, it's looking like a massive stumbling block here. He's just not interested in joining, it seems, at the moment. As for Will Patchen, we do offer Hunstruck plus 600 grand for the 18-year-old signature to join Pompey. We'll see how that one ends up. We do crash out the International Cup, unfortunately, though, in the next round in the semi-finals. A 4-3 uh, loss on penalties uh, is always devastating, but we have to keep our heads up and continue doing how we have been doing during pre-season. But as you can see, Daniel James, uh, we do actually go into contract negotiations with him. We offered a deal, and um, the left winger looks like he'll be joining the club. Uh, very good player indeed. As for Reese Burke, five-year deal, 11 and a half grand, important first-team player. Will that see the 20-year-old join the club? Only time will tell. Adamo Lookman, subject of a bid from Oxford, which we do reject. And guys, if you are enjoying today's video, as always, slap a like on this video and subscribe if you are new around here. I really, really would appreciate it. Will Patch, I'm going to contract negotiations with him. Important first team player, eight grand per week on a five-year deal. Yes, please. I'd love to see him join the club for that. We're getting a little bit closer than we was last season to getting his signature on over the line. As you can see, we get knocked back on Daniel James here. So we do offer 8.2 grand a week. Nine grand is too much. I know it's short wages. It looks like short wages, but for a League One club, that simply just won't do it at the moment. Uh, Reese Burke again, we are up it to 13 grand. He wants 15 grand per week, guys. I just don't see it happening, to be fair. And uh, we offer him that deal. As for Will Patch, you know, some great news. He does join the club. We accept him in, and he does become a Pompey player. So uh, hopefully he joins the Crusade to get us into the championship. As for Daniel James, I do stall. Not too sure on him at the moment. I think we can get a better player, to be fair, for that money. Reese Burke again. 13 and a half grand is the last deal I'm going to make for him. If he declines it, then so be it. And uh, I can confirm he does decline it. And we will not be signing Reese Burke in this window, unfortunately. As for Rafik Zekanini, we turn our attentions to him. 1.3 million plus Talbot. We'll see what happens with that deal. As for Matthias De Ligt, we look for him as the replacement for Reese Burke. We offer 900 grand plus Danny Rose, our captain, for an Ajax 17 year old. I think it would be a great addition to the squad. As for Drew Talbot, it uh, looks like he could be leaving the club too. We just put him in a deal to be signed um, for Zeccolini, but as that one does come to life, we'll probably change the Zeccolini deal 
Uh, as for the youth system, look at the great players we have. Jamie Clark looks awesome. Joel uh, Cox looks like a a, go a good um, squad player. Same for Joel Hughes. And obviously we know what Giacomo Gallo is all about. Looks like an incredible goalkeeper to be fair. But Joel Hughes, I'm looking at him, you know, he's um, a good player. And I think if we can get him up this season, you know, he's really low rated. I believe he's around about 31 rated, guys, or 37 rated. He's incredibly low, but we'll see what happens with him. Alex Bass leaves the club, joins Bristol Rovers for 110 grand. Uh, wish him all the best, but with the squad that we've got at the moment, goalkeeper is not really a higher priority to keep onto. Uh, we do accept, we we'll look to accept the deal for Drew Talbot. We do count of 170 grand, uh, meaning that we have to put in a new bill, uh, bid for Zeccolini, which we will be doing. Um, as you can see there, we do offer um, contract negotiation now with Majesty Lit, offering a crucial first team player. And that should be enough to see him join the club. As for uh, Zeccolini, we do offer uh, 1.9 million plus O'Brien now to try and get this deal over the line. We'll see what happens with that one uh, as we go forward. We're going to the first game of League One. It is a 2 1 victory against Sheffield United here, off to a great start. Goals from Isaac would see us go through here. We do send Archie Green out on loan. We wish him all the best uh, in the window. Uh, as for Max Lee, he does go out on loan too. The 18-year-old joins Colchester on a season-long loan. And uh, Milan Lenikovic is subject to a bid from Ipswich, which we do straight up reject. He's an important player for us, and we're hoping that he does get some important goals this season. Up in our bid now to 2.1 million for Zeconini. Other clubs are in for him, including Birmingham City and Sheffield Wednesday. So we do up the bid for that. And we do play Bradford in the EFL Cup now. See if we can advance in this one. We actually don't. We lose 2-1 to um, uh, Bradford, sorry. Lean Garzi was amongst the goals, but couldn't make it work. As we do accept the deal, Matthias De Litt joins the club and Danny Rose goes the other way. Our captain does leave, but he wasn't going to get much game time due to Will Patchen joining the club. Here's how the team looks at the moment, looking very strong, if I'm being completely honest. That midfield has looked uh, very good now. Uh, Ledson coming on, Lips and Bounds, Dorsell also. Uh, Bennett will probably get replaced by uh, a new player coming in very soon. As you can see, Sam Hill does join Shrewsbury on loan, the young centre forward. And we do see Drew Talbot maybe go to Doncaster for 150 grand here. Um, again, good deal for him. He gets away from the club and gets a good move to a League 2 team. As you can see, for Zeconini, we do up it to 2.2 plus O'Brien. Now, this is the last bid we're going to make for him. Port Vale, uh, game we play in our second fixture in League 1. See how we can do it in this game. And unfortunately, it is a 2-0 loss to the team from Stoke. Uh, or near so on Trench, I say. As for Zeconini, we do go into contract negotiations with him. He's on very cheap wages. We offer him two point eight, two um, two grand, eight hundred and fifty pounds a week. And we do actually play a game against Rotherham here, which we do see at a two-two draw. Rotherham being one of the strongest clubs in League Two, uh, League One, sorry, at the moment, uh, due to getting relegated last season, they're looking to bounce straight back up. Crew Alexander, 140 grand. We do accept it for Drew Talbot, looking to get him off the wage bill and leave the club. But we do get Rafik Zekanini into the club. He joins on a five-year deal. Bristol Rovers is our next game here. 1-1 uh, at the moment between the two clubs. Clark picks up a little injury. It's nothing serious, but we do see that game out at 1-1. And we do get a recap of today's events. Here's how the league looks at the moment. Fleetwood Town, Jamie Vardy's former club, leading the league after four games with a perfect record of 12 points. We find ourselves in 13th position with only five points from four games. We'll hopefully look to bounce back in the next episode as we go all the way up to the January transfer window and then obviously the video after that will be the January transfer window. But guys, I'm going to leave you looking at a squad report. Predictions on where you think Portsmouth will finish in, this, uh, in our second season and our first season in League One. Let me know. Put any comments in the comment section down below for any suggestions. Subscribe if you are new around here. Like the video. I really would appreciate it. And as always, have a really nice day, guys. Another video coming out tonight. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.